Ye mo ubibi ya kwa ba de ba smart gana update so. We, eh, hey, news update. Fufu okra ne de ba be sumu. Abusu ya, kwa bina eje e japon, eka, Dr. Muhammad Obaumia, e perifuwa omudine chini hon. Nwa dinsembi atuja afa, alam kujo chile maten hon, ne campaign na woye, e ne chino chini hon, e di free, MPP party nim. Including Dr. Mati upuku prempe, na po, ayabu ni din as running mate, e de ma, Dr. Muhammad Obaumia. Nenu, ena, kwa bina eje e japon, e chile mwa, e adie se, Alan ko do chiramatin ne campaign kwa ayin ko ye ni de enya de se obekan simbia e de afa ho na emum o chirimu a wo disagree with ni decision se o free mpp party nim o so wono ne brother ana se na dan fo pa ene alan ko do chiramatin bo hu ni se twen twen ne ho free mpp party nim no de obeka se e fa ba bi no ono so so aye on grateful to mpp party no e san se mpp party no e ade se wa ma ne platform pa e di aboa no enti at least se bibia ni kra na nka se nko ye grateful kakra no tena mpp party nim o so ono no de obeka se o ye hurt no sa so ye sad se alan kojo chematen e free party nim no e disappointed in alan kojo chematen pa so se wa twen ho e free party nim ka de o so obeka e de se so se Enya de so we make it impact bia in 2024 election. E san se independent candidate no e ya na enye easy enfa man sa na o run the campaign kra e wo gan ha se no. Enya de se e ye easy. E wusu ya o den sam ka kra so so atudwa afa Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe na po tusu e tusu no ne outdoor and sensem any eba be se se mri se ne osi bi hu no. Ye nko ni enti ono anka samra. This question. Alan Chamatin's campaign is not going well. Uh, well, do you I, think I don't that want to pass a comment on yeah. that? You know, that I, I don't know why he says that. I don't know whether it's not going well. And, and, and again, I, I take friendships very seriously. Mm -hmm. I've had a very long uh, relationship, brotherly relationship with Alan Chopin. He's like a big brother to me. Oh, I see. You understand? We are very close. We've been very close. I disagree with the decision to leave because I think for something that we've all built with our sweat and toil for over 30 years and. Mm -hmm. uh, he was the president of the Young Executive Forum mm -hmm. at the very beginning and all that. So, And we all took part in this election. I didn't see anything that went so seriously wrong with the election. It's just that I didn't get much of a vote. Mm -hmm. He had a bit more, more than, much more than me, but couldn't make it. So I thought he should have just accepted it. And then as a true Democrat that I know he is, uh, should have worked with the, the winner of the the election, which is Dr. Baumia, but he's he's an adult. So we can, you know. But I still, we are friends. Once in a while, um, I saw him the last time at a function not too long ago. We, we had a little chat. Um, I'm I'm sad that he's not with us, but I don't want to comment on that. I, okay. I really truly don't want to comment on that, and uh, it it hurts me that he's he's not with the MPP because I I think he played such a big role at the at the formative years of this party and having served as uh, the party has also given him a big he's the longest trade minister trade minister in the country you know, cumulatively no, cumulative, six years eight years cumulatively about uh, 11 years mm -mm. and then ambassador for close to two years so yeah um if you're talking about the party also you know the party has given him providing him a platform yeah, i think yeah. he also has to be grateful to the party it yeah. works both ways mm. and uh, and for me, uh, I was disappointed in that decision, but he's still a very, my, I consider him a friend and a brother. And uh, um, I, I think it, it will remain so. We will disagree politically. I don't think an independent candidate can do much in Ghana. It's not easy to run a campaign. Mm -hmm. It is not easy to run a, campaign, a presidential campaign. So I knew that yeah, it would be tough to, to go the full hog. And somewhere along the line, you may lose steam because... So, so we are going to the campaign, if yeah. you can get viewers a bit more information. Yeah. Who is ex waiting for you there at Bimbila? Is it the constituency chairman? Is it the MP? Who is waiting? No, no, no. I mean, you mobilize your people. So you some have gone people. ahead. Some, yes. I mean, there's a campaign structure. You don't want me to give you... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. As yeah. much as you we can. We have a department of advances. You I know? see. Yes. I mean, so it's a full operation. It's a, it's a, a mighty, major one. It's a mighty operation. But that's expensive. It's very expensive. I'm, I, it's expensive. Wow. Even me on my own, running a shoestring presidential campaign, the one I did, uh -huh. decimated all my savings. You know? <laughs> I see. <laughs> you know? What, what is the money spent on? No, I mean, look, you have to look at the, the people. Of course, they say that you need some people around you, mm -hmm. some senior people. Mm -hmm. It communicates well. The optics 
good yes yes for yes. the party that look mm -hmm. we are all rallying around our candidate mm -hmm. people have to sleep in hotels they have to ride in vehicles the vehicles have to be powered by fuel you have a bus yes so for me as a bus yes the, we bus, have to the, the bus is itself is expensive isn't it mm -hmm. yes. there's air condition in it of course there is <laughs> you know the bus is better because but you know there are certain parts of the country that you the bus can't go so for instance when we were going to Chipoli and Bumpurugu and Yoyo -Yo, we, we had to get mm. get four wheel drives for that but if you are in most of the country now because of the work that the MPP has done mm -hmm. I mean the 168 kilometers from Tamale, Yendi, Zabzugu, Tatale, right to the Togolese border start. Oh, wow. For the first time in those days. I mean, Salaga. That's, that's massive. In, in Salaga, you know, <laughs> I, I, this, one, this one I can't say it, but there was someone who was, uh, when I was running uh, President Akufuado's campaign then in 1998, one mm -hmm. of our coordinators now is a very big chief, so I don't want to mention the name, but he used to appear in Tamale fully brown. Because it was dust all over. I see. I mean, from Tamale to Salaga, through Palbe to Salaga, was hell. Even now, as we still have about about maybe eight to nine kilometers to Salaga, still undone. Even today, mm. as we are talking, you know. But we had to do all that, and that should be the breadbasket of Ghana. You should look at the plains, you know, and that, that area that should be able to supply all our needs agriculturally. You know, so running a campaign, mm -hmm. and uh, you have to visit. So you need money, you need people, you need people who are dedicated to it. They are working on it 24-7. 24/7. They have to be intelligence people. You need logistics. Yeah. You need flies. You need posters. You need flags. T-shirts are now very expensive. You need a lot of. You pay the people who attend. No, 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 no. You don't. Do the that. large crowd. You, the youth you connect. You can't do that. There are a lot of people. You can't do. So that. how are they motivated? Do you give them juice, orange no, juice? No, no. no. Orange juice, I will have to check with the the, the logistics people. The logistics people, but I no, I don't think. I, I think maybe I've seen people distribute water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen people distribute water mm -hmm. and all that. Um, that's what you do. But of course, I mean, sometimes as we were going around, you give transport, not to them. I'm talking about if you meet a dedicated group, yeah, and you have to invite somebody to come and listen. You may have to support his transport. Yeah, I did so as a as uh, mm -hmm. a candidate mm -hmm. you know and that has been done from a Dubois day so yeah it's part of it i mean so it's very expensive so now that you're all in a is it a two days break is it one day break is it what is it i don't know whether i'm allowed to say but it's, it's cabinet time okay so today is thursday yeah so cabinet i think uh, it's cabinet so that's why he's here he's and here, i think okay. he had some duties on police council Mm -hmm. Yes, yesterday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So as he's still the vice president. Yes, of course. He's having to walk a very mm -hmm. uh, interesting road because he's both the candidate and the vice president. Mm -hmm. So he's trying to reduce a lot of his fu official vice presidential functions and concentrate on the ticket, which mm -hmm. is, is more dear to his heart now. <laughs> At this stage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so wow. um, that's why I'm so... I think on Sunday we'll be back going to savannah the other parts of savannah oh you do you're still in the north so you're going yes. to clean up the whole north before you not, start descending not all but most of it okay so i mean we have a template mm. and maybe i shouldn't say no don't don't don't, don't say our, our colleagues don't, don't say <laughs> it. You know, wow so, but now uh, uh matthew poku Prempe is the running mate what yes. went into the choice but paul you know that the choice of a running mate is the sole prerogative of the candidate yeah, but after he's done it, he probably must have shared with you the inner campaign people. That is not something I want to share with you. I mean, uh, okay, other, okay I, mean, I get it. He called me and had a discussion and, yeah, yeah. and said he had settled on Napo. Yeah. Was, so I called Napo to uh, congratulate him even before the matter came out. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, 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 because as soon as I had had a discussion with the candidate and he had decided that this is the decision he has taken, yeah. and, and that's fine. I mean, that is his decision. I advise him, I would advise him, share a lot of uh, insights, but the decision lies with him. That just is just a uh, humor, but I think it's important that we cultivate the new politician. You talk to young people, they have such disrespect for us, it's amazing. Kids in school are being questioned on television, and the things they say about us, because you, the media, are part of it, you are just putting out information that everybody goes in there to fill their bellies, steal no, the politicians. You know, it's really the Joe Gatti has been talking about it. He says that 
People don't respect politicians because politicians came out to tell people that other politicians are thieves, just I, so that they I gain. remember in 2007, mm -hmm. the 17 of us, yeah. and I met a seed in Ketia, mm -hmm. and he had said, a crown for do so. You, you remember yeah, that? I remember that yes, and yes. I said, I see, you, do, you don't speak like that. When you speak like that, you denigrate politicians everybody. in the eyes of everybody mm -hmm. to come back to hunt us. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't do that. I am not a thief. I've never stolen a cent of public money. I don't do that. that, is, that the they say it's for political gain. You know, because so, you watch UK and America, especially the UK. You never hear a UK politician call another MP a thief. Never no. will they do that. You remember they when know. I was general secretary? Yeah. And some of our people went to picket John Mahama, then president. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You, you, you got upset. And I got upset. They said, ah, I've been bought by yeah, yeah, yeah. the NDC. Yeah. I said, no. Once the president leaves the shores of the country, mm -hmm. he represents all of us. You can't go and do a demonstration. You can't go and call him a thief in Germany. No, no. no I will no. not accept that. I remember, I remember. Yes. It's a big fight. Yes, and I said, I can't accept that. Mm -hmm. And I said, I don't want a future President Akufad to, to go be, somewhere to and then they do that. that way. Yeah. So when it happened some few years ago, somebody said, Prophet Fabdai Jepo. Yeah, yeah, I said, yeah. you see, there's always time for the truth. Let's do well as a country. And I feel that you can live a fulfilled life without being fabulously rich. Yes, yes, yes. I've never been fabulously rich. Not poor, mm. though. I'm quite okay. I get by. Oh, but well, you've not been poor. When we were young, you used to give us food at a work in. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was just, you know, when we're hungry, we come to your office. I was come making more money. We used to come myself and from Brazil. When we were hungry, we say, let's go to Kala. And then you organize working <laughs> for us. We are doing civil engineering, <laughs> consulting for Bank of Ghana, mm -hmm. Gassem. You, know, you get something. Yeah. Ashanti Goldfields doing big projects. You know, I went into politics to serve. And I want everybody to do so. Yes, you get whatever you, you, you so deserve. Yeah. You know, you'll be compensated. You, you'll be fine. So you don't need to do the extra things that hurts the economy, that hurts our people. And uh, it, it's something that I, I want to be an advocate for, for the rest of my life. That. I remain strong and able, mm. you know. So, and that's why I'm, I'm in this. I decided to stay in the party, unlike some who decided to leave, um, to support the candidate of our party because I'm an internal Democrat. I believe that once the majority have spoken, we've got to respect the majority's decision. Let me take text messages. People are asking me to ask you questions.